The monthly cups come from Sweden and are available in three different sizes. A small, a normal, and a plus size. At the time of this video, they are also available in two different colors, a frosted white and a sapphire blue. The body on the monthly cup is on the softer side, but the secondary rim and the upper rim have some firmness to it to help you get this cup to open up. Because of that combo, I think this cup might be really good for those of you who feel like you need something a little bit on the firmer side for working out or your physical activities. The mini monthly cup might be a good size for someone who is just new to using cups, a teen, a virgin, uh, someone with a low cervix, a light flow, or days with just discharge or spotting. The normal and plus size might be a little bit more comfortable for someone with a medium to high cervix. If you're interested in hearing more about these cups, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Before I get questions about this, I do want to mention that I do have all three sizes and the middle size or the normal size of the cup um, in the sapphire is slightly different than the other two colors. So if you notice that uh, it is, it's not your screen or your monitor or whatever you're watching this on, uh, I don't know which color is the color that they normally have. Maybe I got um, one cup from an older batch uh, that was slightly different. So uh, you will have to ask if you're looking for a specific uh, blue, you'll have to ask for yourself, you know, which, which hue of blue it is. This company went with a very minimal packaging, which I really, really like. Your cup will arrive in a little baggie and it'll have a pamphlet inside. There is a label on the outside to close up the baggie and it has some information on it, such as the size, their address, website, email, the lot number, and the color. Since there wasn't a box to unbox, we can skip down to the table and just go ahead and take a look at the three different sizes of the monthly cup. I will pan through some photos of everything that I received, which includes a pamphlet, a little card, and the pouches. The total length on the mini monthly cup is 55 millimeters. Without the stem, it measures 45 millimeters. The diameter is 37 millimeters. The capacity to the holes is 15 milliliters and to the top of the rim is 18 milliliters. The total length of the normal monthly cup is 65 millimeters, 55 millimeters. Without the stem, it has a diameter of 43 millimeters and holds 25 milliliters to the holes or 34 milliliters to the top of the rim. The plus size monthly cup measures 65 millimeters in length, 55 millimeters without the stem, has a diameter of 47 millimeters, and holds 34 milliliters to the air holes or 40 milliliters to the top of the rim. This is a V-shaped cup and because of that, like I said earlier, I do feel that the normal and plus size might be more comfortable for someone with a medium to high cervix. Starting with the stem, it is a short stick style. It is a solid piece in there and has a ball tip end. The stem is quite firm. I can't really smash it down in my fingertips, so it also makes it so that it's not very flexible when you try to move it around. It might end up being a little uncomfortable for some of you if this sits at the opening of your vagina. It's easily trimmed and actually you can trim it back a little bit more than just the, the stem itself. You can go a little further than that, they did include a good seal between the stem and the body of the cup. After trimming the stem, you can still file it down 
just to right above this first grip ring nearest to the stem. There are three grip rings at the base of this cup and they are rounded off. They did space them a little wider apart than on some other cups out there. I think that they did place them nicely. Um, a lot of times the grip rings are closer to the stem and when you go to pinch down on your cup, you kind of bypass those. So having this one higher up on the body ensures that you still have that grip if you need it. This cup does have a secondary rim and it starts right here. You can see that little edge there. It is rounded off, but it does come out from the body of the cup instead of having a smooth transition. A lot of times we find the smaller cup to be a little bit more firm than the larger cup in any given brand, uh, but in this case, it's not like that. The secondary rim on the smaller cup is a lot uh, thinner than the secondary rims on the normal and the plus size. So it doesn't have that extra amount of firmness, making this cup be more firm than the larger sizes. There are four air holes equal distant from each other right underneath that upper rim and they are quite large so here's my pencil tip up against the air hole. These air holes are straight through so they'll be easy to clean. There's only one seam to mention on this cup and it's on the rim. It's kind of halfway between the top of the rim and the side of the rim so uh, more like when the rim starts to round over, that's where it's located. Um, so this is slightly visible, but I can barely feel it with my fingertips. There's only one marking on this cup, which is on the inside, and that is their website, www.monthlycup.com. I did get to use all three different sizes, but I personally prefer the normal and the plus size just for the length. My cervix was on the medium to higher side and it made it easy for me to be able to reach these cups and also wear them comfortably even with leaving the stem intact. Well, that's all I have for now about the monthly cup in the three different sizes that they have to offer. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below with which hue you would rather have uh, with your monthly cup. Uh, that more flat blue or the brighter, lighter blue. I know that colors don't really make a difference in how a cup actually works, but you know, anything to make your period a little bit nicer makes a big deal. Until I see you next time, take care.